here with Doug Warrington from MyRainReport.com, and they are reinventing what we typically think of as the rain gauge. Doug, tell me more about what MyRainReport.com is. MyRainReport.com is a computer-based internet provider that is tracking rain on any site across the United States. If you give me a lat long, give me a location on a map, I can track the rainfall on that and communicate that back to you. So how many farms can I do that on based on the latitude and longitude of each one? That's a unique question. And people ask you that. We, a lat long is a specific spot, okay? So you're giving us that spot on a farm. We've had a lot of growers walk up here just today and say, okay, pull my farm up on the map. We pull it up here on the screen. We show them, there's my home place. Now, I want to know the rain right there. That's what we can do. Now, scroll over. Here's another field. Can you tell me the rain at that? Mm -hmm. And what they're telling us is that there's a significant variability of rain. Rain varies, right. okay? And they want to know the difference between their different fields. And then a lot of operations are cross counties. Mm -hmm. They keep scrolling, scroll, scroll, go way over here. Here's my next operation. And I want to know the rain there. And we can track that rain, communicate it to them in an email. Okay. So when they get up in the morning, they're looking at the work they're going to do. Mm -hmm. Bang, there's the, all the data they need that shows the variability of rain across their entire operation. So why is this better than a rain gauge? What is the biggest improvement? The challenge is trying to manage rain gauges, okay? And trying to, to get up in the morning and look at gauges across multiple fields, across two counties, and look at them all at the same time and track that information. Nobody can do it. You can't physically do that, okay? Right. Electronically, we can. And we so, can do it on thousands of spots. How do I get it on my computer? It's a web-based solution. We, we go online to, to start the service and to identify the spot, okay? Mm -hmm. After that, it's an email delivery, okay? This is an example of an email report that a grower had five different locations across his farm, mm -hmm. and it rained. So we emailed him and said, it rained, and here's the amount for each spot, okay? okay? And then we can convert that to a monthly report also. Ah, okay, so it's a subscription service. Subscription service, uh, reporting daily based on rainfall. It has a default. You need to get one-tenth of an inch to start. Okay, because so, people don't want to get a lot of emails saying no rain, no right. rain, no rain. Right. That's kind of painful, all right? <laughs> but you got rain, here's how much you got, all right? And then here's an email at the end of the month telling you the total amount of rain for that area. All right, so right. it's a month by month subscription? Is it a yearly subscription? We set it up month by month. There's a charge to set up, $10 to set up, okay. then $10 a month for the daily report, and you can tell us how many months you want to run. So we've got growers that say, I just want it for a critical three months of preparation and planning. I got others though, I want the entire growing season. Then you got people, I want a 12 month set of data. Because mm -hmm. I think if I start tracking my rain information, I can make better decisions. Right. We can't change rain, but we can measure it, we can document it, and we can study it. And if we can study it, we can change our decisions. And there's nothing else out there like this right now, is there? No, no. This is first to market, new technology, brand new, and it's gonna change the way we make decisions. The number one variable input in production agriculture is rain. We need to track it, study it, and make decisions. If you're investing in new technology, consider what the rain event on your farm is impacting that technology. Great, thank you. Thank you.